Box plots day two, analyzing box plots. Here we go. All right, students' heights. So we have a box plot of students' heights. We worked with this one on day one, but we're going to analyze it a little more in detail. The very first thing you do when you have a box plot, I think, is you should label it with all those different measures that we've, we talked about yesterday. So we start with our lower extreme, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, upper extreme. That'll be a lot easier when they go to start asking questions about it. What is the range of the data? That's the upper extreme minus the lower extreme. So that's going to be 57 inches minus 45 inches, which is 12 inches. This is a new term we haven't talked about for question number two. What is the interquartile range of the data? Sometimes they like to abbreviate that as IQR. So interquartile range. Well, interquartile, which means between the quartiles range. So the quartiles is the box, the lower quartile and upper quartile. So if we're between those two, and we're trying to find the range, we're just going to subtract those two. So another way to think about it is it's the length of the box. So it's the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Upper quartile at 52, lower quartile at 46. When we subtract, subtract those, we're at six inches. Now it says we want to compare the range to the interquartile range. So our first range was 12 inches and our second range is six inches. So when we say compare, that's similarities or differences. And I can see that the range is larger than the interquartile range. And if I take those two, it's about six inches longer for the range versus the interquartile range. So the range is larger than the interquartile range by six inches. Okay, so let's move on to question number four. What percent of the data falls between 46 inches and 52 inches? Well, let's start at 46 inches. Well, that was my lower quartile. And my 52 inches is my upper quartile. Now remember that we have split this into four sections. The one whisker is 25%. From the lower quartile to the median, that's 25% of the data. From the median to the upper quartile is 25% of the data. And that last whisker is 25% as well. So if we're in just the box, that's a 25 plus a 25, which is 50%. So 50% of the data is between 46 and 52 inches, which is equivalent to half of the data. Question number five, true or false? One half of the students were 52 inches or shorter. Sorry, typo there. One half of the students were 52 inches or shorter. Okay, so let's start at 52 inches. And this says shorter, so that means smaller. So if we start here, we have the box, which is 50%. And we said that that's equivalent to a half, but I also have that whisker. Well, then that means that that's not equivalent to half. That's false. This is 50% and that is 25%. So what is that together? 75%. So 75% of the data is 52 inches or shorter. Now, I also just wanted to give you a little bit more detail about this box plot. When you have a short whisker like this, that means that the data is scrunched together, which means that the data, this 25% of the data is close together. Now, my box is pretty spread out, which would mean that the data here is more spread out. It just means that the numbers of 50% of the data are farther apart. Now do you see how this whisker is much longer than the beginning whisker? That could signify that there may be an outlier in this data set because this whisker is trying to stretch the data much farther away from the other 75% of this data. So if you see a really long whisker, you could have an outlier that is stretching your data. All right, let's look at a multiple choice question. Which statement best describes the data represented in the box plots? So we have some test scores here. First period's on top, second period is on bottom. So let's go through each of the answer choices. A, first period range of test scores is 25 points. Okay, we're looking at test scores and we're looking at first period. Okay, so range, remember that is the largest number minus the smallest number. So our largest number is between 95 and 100. Well, if I, it looks like it's probably about at 98. Okay, because between 95 and 100, if we add those two together and divide by two, that's 97.5. So it's probably a 98 here. And my lowest test score is at 60. So 98 minus 60 is 28 points. 
So this answer is not correct. One fourth of the, uh, the students in second period scored below, oh, 75 points or below. Okay, so we're looking at second period and we need to go to 75 points. Here's 75 points on second period's box plot and says below. Well, remember that the whisker is 25% of the data, the whole whisker. But do you see how we only have part of the whisker? So that can't be correct because one fourth is 25%. We would have needed to have the entire whisker to be one fourth, which it needed to have said 80 points or below. So that is not correct. The interquartile range of first period test scores is about 15 points. Okay, let's go to first period interquartile range. So interquartile range, remember, is the length of the box. So we're in first period. So the box ends at nine, about 90 and the box starts at about 75. So if I subtract those two, I get about 15 points. So I think this is the correct answer, but I'm gonna look at answer choice D just to make sure. The highest grade made in first period class was 95 points. Let's go to first period. Let's go to the last number on the box plot. Oh, remember that was around 98, so that is not correct. Let's go ahead and look at one more box plot. The students in Ms. Maxud's third period class recorded how many fluid ounces of water they drink daily. The results are represented in the box plot. Be very careful on this box plot because it's not going by ones. Which statement best describes the data in the box plot? The range of the data is 108 fluid ounces. Okay, remember, range is the, lot hard, I'm sorry, the largest number minus the smallest number, but our numbers fall between two. So be very careful. The, two, the number that falls between 24 and 36 is 30. I can figure that out by adding those two together and dividing by two. And the number that falls between 108 and 120 is 114. If I subtract those two, I get 84 fluid ounces. So A is not correct. The mean number of fluid ounces the students drink is 78. Mean? I can't find the mean of a, a block plot. I need the data set. So that's false. Interquartile range is 20 fluid ounces. Okay, remember, length of the box. So I start at 60, it ends at 90, because those numbers, that 90 is between 84 and 96. Remember, add those two together and divide by two. So if I subtract those two, I get 30 fluid ounces. 25% of the students drank 90 or more fluid ounces. Okay, so 25% or, or so at 90 or more. So the end of the box is 90 or more, so we're on this side. Well, that's just the length of a whisker. Remember, a whisker is 25% or one-fourth. So D is the correct answer. And that's the end of day two of box plots.